So how does it feel to finally be a clone? Since I first stepped on the firing range, all I wanted to do is play a role in this war and be an honor to my brothers. I mean, even though I'll probably be killed the moment I step off the gunship, it still feels pretty good to be a trooper. Besides, I also get to wear this lid armor, which is cool. Nice. What battalion do you hope you will be deployed to? Well, most of my squad hopes to be in the 501st, but personally, I hope to be in the 327th Star Corps. Their armor is so lit, the yellow paint job is awesome, but it's not, but that's not all. They have trench coats and padalons, two extra pistols with holsters, and the best part, you don't even have to be an officer to get those, like you would have to with other battalions. That's why I want to be in the 327th Star Corps, fashion over skill. Rookie wants to be in the Star Corps, eh? I don't think he'll make that cut, but I will, being a sharpshooter. Why else would they give me these binocs? Because I can hit a target miles away. That's why. People wonder how much we see out of these binocs, and the truth is, not that much. But we do see way far, so that's a good trade-off. Sector is clear. Hey, Ticker, can you see me from here? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Ugh. I'm okay. We're here of the 181st Battalion with a packers, meaning we give the Separatists such a beating that they pack up and leave. And don't confuse us with the 87th Sentinel Battalion. We may have very similar armor, but we are totally different battalions. They just guard planets while we transfer vehicles and such. But sometimes, and those are grand days for the Republic, we are deployed in battle. You ever hear of the Corsair battle? Or of the Philemion campaign? Anybody? Millennium campaign? Yeah, right. When the recon stops reconnaissance. A 181st is a bunch of nobodies. But not us. We specialize in reconnaissance. Sometimes we go behind enemy lines for weeks without support when we need to. There isn't a battalion that can match us at recon, and there never will be. We can also hold up our own in a fight too, assuming our enemies are scattered and hard to find. We can't really take on large groups of enemies. Yeah, I wouldn't say we tap on the recon badge, but we can definitely give the seps a good beating. To be completely honest, I don't know why we have to wear this kind of armor. Don't get me wrong, camouflage is perfect, I just don't get why we have to wear this kind of helmet. Granted, Grisha isn't. Well, whatever the reason, we just hope it won't exclude us from the rest of our company. Cause that would be weird. I mean, our group hasn't been performing up to par recently, but I don't think that's the reason enough to give us different armor. Unless it is? You know what a ranger is? What a true ranger is? Well, I'm a ranger. We pave ways through enemy lines. Sure, a scout gives the battalion information on where the enemy is, but do they push through the lines? That's what we do. And to be a ranger, you've got to be an elite trooper. You've got to give it your all and stand in the line of fire when other troopers cower. That's what a ranger is. And also maybe why we have such a high fatality rate. You don't see us very often because we're stationed in the outer rim. We run all those campaigns with the most degree of success. That's us, the 327th Battalion. We practically own the outer rim. Sure, you can see the 501st or another battalion out here, but that's only because we're on another campaign. Sure, they sometimes get the win, but we always do. In fact, the other battalions wish they could have our accuracy, winning streaks, and all but not least, our outfits. I mean, don't we look lit? It's why we have those winning streaks in the fashion competitions. Sure, we're okay at combat, but when we go down that walkway, we get all the applause. 327th for you. They're pretty braggarts. Everyone knows the 501st is the best. The boys in blue, they call us. I mean, sure, the 327th is a star corps, meaning they're the best shots and have the best skill, but we've got something they don't got, variety in leadership. General Skywalker is the best Jedi in the Republic. He's not afraid to disobey orders or use unconventional methods to get the victory for the Republic. And he comes about us. We're proud to be under his service, and the 327th can kiss our I mean, whoever likes the color yellow. If they had no pad-ons, ammo cartridges, or trench coats, they'd be ugly, mark my words.